Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. But, Harry and Meghan have turned out to be cynics of the highest order. And as a result dear old Mad Harry is completely broken man. In the early 40s is also a time when family, financial and life stability are important. Everything around him is crumbling, teetering and wavering dangerously, but Harry can't help but feel like he has unraveled a thread in a fabric that now threatens to drop the lot. We have previously pointed out that Prince Harry is at a turning point in his life before celebrating his 40th birthday, to which many look forward with skepticism. He too also seems a little worried about this milestone, as we have spoken about before. Some of you already 40? Oh oh, yes you a lot of you I am sure. I mean, where exactly in your 40s are you? The real question, of course. Good morning over 40s and thank you for booting up to our new subscribers. How great is it we get to share this experience together. It's no secret that Prince Harry is at a crossroads in his private life. Not surprisingly, life at 40 isn't quite what he envisioned. You know that old saying about life beginning at 40, but is this the end though, was living what he really wanted to do. Harry is coming upon this age now, with a path to choose once he turns underscore 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 underscore. Well, now it gets even more interesting because as I said yesterday Meghan Markle is doing this thing with trying to maybe monetizing the situation, if that makes any sense. We do one better to decide whether she should ever have something sunny grow beside a party, we must give his shattered ghost its due. This man has lost everything you can create some fucking frame where this guy's life completely fell apart. Just be in, tired, disillusioned and utterly bored in Columbia last tour. While he managed to keep up a facade for a while, this was no life any of them had been promised. That freedom flight he mentioned from the Windsor Suites at Heathrow hasn't quite panned out how he had hoped, is? It. As he explained, I want to cut my life in half and have a little bit of it over there with some old friends, back home in the UK, I think you could top up, then go somewhere else. This was disclosed although there were reports that a few of these friends are more recently turning their backs, saying his life has descended into shame. Several have reported that Meghan will not make a return visit to the UK until her security fears are addressed, so for many this is unlikely. Harry however still wants closure. Reaching 40 is already a difficult milestone for all, but when it comes to someone like Harry. Old age tells both men and women to remember what used to be, and wonder about the time still left. According to a source, things are very very difficult for Harry he is deeply unhappy but has good days and bad ones at the moment. The bad ones seem impossible though. Or he has a series of days in a row where it feels as though the sadness will never end. With all due respect, we know Harry is super soft. He appears to be a man who knows no real value in life, millions of pounds flowing into his bank account or not. Harry has been a huge beneficiary of the trust fund bequeathed by the late Queen Mother, an exceptionally gracious lady. She would be absolutely aghast, I am sure she loved the monarchy and this is what it has turned into from however long ago when she decided to gift that wealth on to him. Harry has been spoon-fed his whole life, and now he is just dumped into the real world. Like I mentioned above, the story is always changing. Question is, will Harry be able to muster up enough pals who are willing to travel with him across the pond and shack out in a London hotel? There may even be whispers of a potential rendezvous with them in Europe somewhere, perhaps some spot off the beaten track in Spain or Greece where they could pretend to go on the fun-filled holidays when they were younger. It's a long way from the palace life he's grown accustomed to, and many would argue he has his latest wife Meghan Markle, now the Duchess of Sussex, to thank for that. Do you honestly believe Meghan deserves the name Duchess? Number 1 if you think she does. And if you're pissed and think she doesn't deserve it comment too. Well, Harry is what he has made of himself and their spirit must own him. In a short time, people die before age 40. Imagine the courageous men and women who died for our country during World War I, II, the Falklands or in Afghanistan. 
She said, these heroes paid the ultimate price and will never be aged. Harry, in contrast, will reach 40 with protocol-waving pejoratives about the monarchy and his country. And he made that thing called freedom flight only to trash the family who raised him and then trashed this country, that once loved Packy. I call that karma, considering how he's managed to let almost any royal event in the past few years be overshadowed. At the time of his father's coronation, he found a way to make himself relevant and take priority in comparison with his personal needs and desires that even took precedence over making he and wife look like victims. He caused the plane to be late for Queen's burial, and in his story itself he made it all about him even at what would later turn out to have been their final phone call. Harry's problem is not toddling back to a sinful lifestyle enjoying hedonistic pleasures and nursing addictions with mummy honey in the middle of nowhere, it ISS due to, frankly immature character structures. He tries to hide it, but the cats plus any episodes he might upload reveal them openly, for one beamed in 2006 all along unearthing on more of several veins. Harry needs sustained counseling for his alcohol and drug abuse, and an extensive amount of work on a personal level to set himself down the right track. His distorted thoughts, pathways in his brain and perspectives need to be worked on. I mean, Harry has no one to blame but himself. He was warned repeatedly by his loving family, often on his mother's side that Meghan is no Diana. Nevertheless, Harry continued to act recklessly. From talking about drug use and becoming Hollywood nightlife, he turned out to be his own caricature of himself with woman gossiping over change in appearance. His own lack of introspection leads him to wonder if any old friends would even still celebrate his success back in the UK, assuming they too have grown up over a decade. It's not like there is a big reason for them to butt heads now. There is no sympathy for the way Harry behaves towards his grandparents and the family that raised him to protect him. Faced with pronounced overindulgence and entitlement for so long, who could be blamed for any negative taking get the better of you? Now we see the consequences of growing up as a privileged rich youth. Yes, he was indeed privileged. However, Megan has dismantled his sense of entitlement and shattered his confidence. The con artists have triumphed, following the example of Edward and Wallace. Two notorious figures who posed a threat to the royal family, yet justice was more swiftly served in those times. Ultimately, both individuals were permanently expelled from the UK due to the extensive harm they caused. Harry, now 40, finds himself with a ruined reputation. Transitioning from a prince to a mere shadow of his former self, paired with a former cable TV actress with a controversial background. Perhaps he could embrace the role of the royal jester, bringing joy to others. At 40, he appears broken and lost, a man-child devoid of growth, maturity, and experience. He exhibits a defeated demeanor, a result that he has rightfully earned. Despite aging, wisdom seems to elude him. What a disappointment! The prevailing view in the UK is that Harry has forfeited his royal status, and his partner never was, never will be, and never stands a chance of being acknowledged as royal in history. Despite being cautioned against rushing into a union with her, he chose to disregard the advice, and now we see the consequences. His credibility, along with hers, is shattered. I am indifferent to his unhappiness. It seems fitting that he now comprehends the emotional distress he caused his esteemed grandmother. It pleases me that he experiences a sense of abandonment. Alone and devoid of friends, this is what's known as karma. I hold disdain for Harry. His mistreatment extends not only to his family but also to the people of the UK. His misery is of no concern to us, he ought to humble himself and seek forgiveness from all. I, however, refuse to offer him my forgiveness. He remains a foolish and disloyal former prince. Long live King William and Queen Catherine. Harry was born into privilege but has only shown a pattern of complaining and self-pity. He directs his grievances at his entire family, wrongly believing they plotted against him as the second child. His consistent foolish behavior is evident, exemplified by his decision to marry Meghan. Harry's sense of entitlement borders on being comical, given his immature and irresponsible nature. 
His incapacity to hold a job or take on responsibilities showcases his childlike demeanor. I feel no sympathy towards him, and his choice of spouse only adds to the joke. It is plausible that Harry now regrets getting involved with a subpar actress, reflecting on how his family cared for and shielded him for years before Meghan disrupted his life irreversibly. Harry ought to have heeded the advice of his brother William rather than embracing Meghan. Meghan's ability to seduce and manipulate the naive and pampered redhead was evident, it's no surprise that his cognitive capacity seems impaired, likely due to his being emotionally manipulated. Meghan even arranged a ski trip for Harry with Corey Gamble, Chris Kardashian's partner, as a strategy to gain favor with Chris by sending her homemade jam, delivering no benefits for anyone involved. Allegedly, Harry spends his time between different hotels, essentially living separate from Meghan, contradicting the notions of her controlling his idol, jet-setting lifestyle or even caring about it. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy, I'll see you in the next one.